Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to single crochet. So, this is a really great lesson for the beginner uh, crochet er cro crochet artist. Um, so I'm going to go through the important things you need um, and step by step how to do uh, single crochet. So, good thing to have on you is a pair of scissors just gonna keep those out of frame. And then you also need a crochet hook. I am working with a four millimeter crochet hook, a metal one, I prefer the metal ones. Um, I'm also working with uh, four weight. I don't really understand the weights of yarn at this point, but it is 100% cotton yarn. Um, I really love this type of yarn for washcloths and scrubbies and anything that's gonna be used for cleaning because it's really durable. It's also great for like picnic blankets and um, like towel things, kind of floor mats, any sort of thing that needs to be beat up like over the course of its life. Uh, these guys last a long time. So I'm going to start with a slip knot. So you take your yarn and you want to have a little U and then you cross over to make an X and then your loose end you want, it, you want to be holding your loose end, but you want to grab and pull through just like that. And that's a slip knot. So this is how every crochet project begins. So cross over, slip knot, just like that. So we're going to get a slip knot started. And then the next step, chain stitches. My vocabulary is all off. The point is I know how to crochet and I'm about to show you, so buckle up. We're gonna learn how to do the first crochet stitch everyone needs to know. So first you want your slip knot not super tight on your, uh, on your hook, but you do want that knot that you originally made to be really tight. So now that we've got that settled, you're gonna wanna put your yarn over the hook and then remember that tail? Pull that tail in order to get that first loop off of your hook. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial is just a small sort of washcloth like thing um, just to show you how to uh, do the stitch. So we're going to do, I think, probably 20 stitches long. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, what are you doing? I can't, trying to get in the shot. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's not looking quite as long as I wanted, so let's, let's go for thirty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. All right. So now that's going to be the length. And now for single crochet, basic everyday single crochet, you skip your first chain, which is this guy right here. And we're going to go into that next one over there. So we're going to go in forward, wrap around your yarn, pull through once, wrap around again, pull through again. That's called a single crochet. So insert into your chain, wrap around, wrap around. Insert into your chain, wrap around, wrap around, pull through. So we insert into the front of that chain, wrap around, pull through, wrap around again, pull through. Insert into the chain, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. Into the chain, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. In there, wrap around, wrap around. So now you can kind of see what's beginning to happen there. It's looking cute already. All right, so just for this next I don't know, couple of stitches. I'm just gonna zoom through them until we're almost, oops, I screwed up my stitch by talking about it. Sorry, um, for the next 
Probably until my cat is a sociopath. Evil cat, okay. For the next, probably until I'm about five stitches away from the end, I'm just gonna zoom through it, um, speed it up a little bit, just so that uh, this video doesn't end up being a million hours long. Okay, so we're almost at the end, so I'm just gonna slow us back down and um, show you what to do when you come to the end of your crochet, uh, each row I'm saying here. So, insert into the front, wrap around, pull through, wrap around again, pull through, insert into the front, wrap around, pull through, wrap around again, pull through, all the way until we're at the last chain, so we've got one more after this. There we go, so now we're at our last chain. We're gonna insert in, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, and then you chain stitch one. So that's just wrap around, pull through again. And then you want your yarn behind and you can turn your work over. And you can already see the pretty pattern that that yarn gives us. Okay, now that we're on the other side, there's a couple of different ways that you can go. My favorite way is making a very, very dense stitch. So that's gonna be, really? I don't know if that's picking up on the mic, but the cat has put his bowl on the floor and is now pushing the bowl around the floor to try and make me go crazy. Okay, so what I'm going here with. So the next thing you're gonna do is kind of pull at your work a little bit. And you can see these big holes form when you pull. And my favorite way to crochet is putting the entire hook through that whole hole, which ends up being two pieces of yarn. So we're not going to crochet into that chain that we just made, but the hole right next to it, that big hole, we're gonna put the hook in, wrap around, pull through, and then wrap around and pull through again. And now we're doing the exact same thing we did up the first side except instead of just going through one loop like we did last time like this, we're going through both loops. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. Once you get into a bit of a groove, it stops being wrap around. The, the hook just grabs that yarn that's in your hand. So if you can see how I'm holding it, I'm kind of gripping the yarn with my pinky and then the rest of my fingers are holding it but not, not tight. It's mostly my pinky that's holding on and then I let it just balance on my pointer finger and I use that um, in order to guide the yarn onto the hook. So when you put your hook through the hole, see how by having the yarn on top of my finger, it's already in the place for the hook to grab that yarn. So it kind of skips that whole wrap around, pull through thing. So you can stick it in, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. But once you get kind of a groove going, it can make it um, a lot faster. And also it can make your stitches a lot more even in terms of their, uh, their tightness. Because when you are um, guiding it over, you're maintaining a tension on that yarn. So you can see it's just a lot faster this way um, than it would be inserting the hook and actually wrapping around the yarn each time. There, okay. So, let's talk through it again. So if you pull at your stitches like that, you can see where those holes form. Obviously that's gonna like bunch back together and disappear when you're, once you've washed it, but it does make it a lot more easy uh, to know where your hook's actually going in. So I do recommend going through both loops if you're doing some kind of, you know, picnic blanket or washcloth or, um, I don't know, a floor mat or something because it makes it a really dense stitch. So it ends up being really heavy and it does use a lot of yarn, um, but it ends up being really heavy, like, like a actual like dishcloth, like a dense, 
heavy thing. Oops, wrapped around first again. Getting ahead of myself, I'm starting the next lesson before I've even finished this one. Okay, so now that we're coming up to the end again, I'm just going to finish these last few stitches. Oops. Okay, so there's one more stitch there. So we put it in through that, oops. Where's that hole gone? There it is. Put it in through that hole, wrap around, wrap around, and then because we're at the end of a, a row, chain one, which just means wrap around your hook and pull through, and then turn your work over. And then we're gonna start our third row. So again, if you pull on your stitches, you can see the hole where you're supposed to insert your hook. So, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. So that's what a single crochet stitch is. There's single, double, half double, triple, um, slip stitch. There's lots of different stitches that you can do just as like a basic straight line stitch. And I'm going to be going through all of them um, both on the blog as well as on the channel um, as part of a bit of a video series. So if you're interested in learning more stitches after the single crochet, then come back uh, every week Tuesdays and Thursdays. I put out new videos all the time because I craft all the time because I can't stop. Once you start making things from string, once you start making fabric from string, it makes it very, uh, it makes a difference in your life and then you can't go back. It also makes it understandable as to why certain items that are handmade cost so much money because you realize how much time and how much the supplies cost for any crocheted item. For example, for a blanket that fits on like a double bed, it's gonna cost you between like 40 and 50, maybe 40 and $60 Canadian just to make a like super basic double crocheted blanket, like just a very average, beautiful, but average blanket. It's, it's not gonna be super cheap, but it is going to last a very long time all of the things that I have that are crocheted in my home, um, I've washed a million times and they never come apart because it's all one continuous string. So there's really nothing to, to come apart. Okay, so now we're at the end again. So if you remember from last time, we're gonna insert into that last little hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, pull through. And then since we're at the end of a row, we're gonna wrap around and pull through for one chain stitch. Because we're doing a single crochet, there is only one chain stitch. I'm gonna add a little more yarn here. I'm just gonna keep going. So in through, oops, in through that hole there, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, and then just keep going as you have been. Nothing's changing for this one we're doing single crochet the whole way. So if you can see, when I speed up a little bit like I am right now, I will let you know I'm, I'm not quite at full speed at this point because it's hard to talk while crocheting. Um, but when I speed up, you can see that I'm not really like saying out loud anymore or thinking as much wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. Uh, it just kind of what happens after you after you get going. You kind of get a groove and eventually uh, if you practice this for, I don't know, several hours, you can get to a point where you can watch a movie or, or um, be involved in a, a conversation with people and still maintain even stitches and not miss any stitches and not make any mistakes. But for the first little while, it's probably good to just have some <laughs> ambient music on and stare at your hands just to get the, you know, the system kind of down. Oh my gosh, I love this yarn. So cute, isn't that cute? Okay, coming back up to the end of a row. And I know this is always the part that I stressed when I was learning to crochet was what to do at the end of the rows. That's why I'm taking my time 
explaining it because, well, it, it was my hardest part, so I assume that other people struggle with it. So, coming up to the end again. Going through that last loop now. In, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. And then remember, because we're at the end of a row, we chain one stitch. So that whole idea of chaining one stitch, it does change depending on the stitch you're using. So since we're using a single crochet, it's just one chain stitch. If you were using a double crochet, it would be two, two chain stitches, triple crochet three, and so on. But that's not what we're doing yet today. You'll have to come back next time for that. Okay, so I'm gonna explain it slow-mo again because there is never enough information. Pull your stitches wide open. It's gonna make it look like you've stretched all your work and, and like that the ends are like fanning out. They're not. It's just because you're pulling it tight and the initial first chain has no stretch to it. But if you pull your stitches tight, you can see the hole that you're supposed to go into. You can see the previous holes that you went into as well. So we want to put it in that hole right there, hook in, wrap yarn around, pull through, wrap yarn around again, pull through again. Hook in, wrap yarn around, pull through, wrap yarn around, pull through, just like that. So I'm gonna do a few more rows here. I don't think I'll talk through the rest of the rows because we're already at 20 minutes and I don't want this video to end up being crazy long for something that's just a dishcloth. Um, but come back or watch this sped up part um, and I will uh, explain how I like to finish off my, um, my dishcloths. So I'm just going to speed through the rest of this and I will see you back in a minute. Okay, so I actually think that I'm gonna stop it there because I'm just using this as a tutorial. I'm not actually making a dishcloth today. Um, it's so cute though. Maybe I should just finish it. What else could I make with this thing? I just kind of want a good amount of samples. Okay, no, I am gonna stop here. So I'm gonna do one more row, which I'm gonna talk through. And then it's gonna be done. And I'm going to, did I chain two? What are you doing, Laura? No, I didn't, okay, good. Okay, so once you get to the end of the row, of course, again, you do the chain one, and then insert into those holes, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, insert, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. So for single crochet, there's really not a ton that you need to remember. It's just wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, and chain one when you get to the end of your rows. So we're almost there now. Just, CJ, go away. You can't sit with me right now. You can't. No, no, I'm all mic'd up. Get out of here. I love my cat, but whenever I'm sitting at my desk, he tries to sit on my lap and sometimes I'm filming. Okay, almost there now. Maybe I'll make a little samples book. This just fits the frame a lot better than a square and I don't wanna have to worry about zooming in and zooming out for the different tutorials. I just wanna keep it in the same frame. That's why I'm thinking I'm not gonna do the full square. Okay, so. Last chance to get it. And if you don't get it, that's okay. You can go back and watch it a thousand, thousand times. I don't think there's a ton of more ways that I could explain this though. 
insert your hook into the hole, wrap your yarn around, pull through, wrap your yarn around, pull through. Insert in, wrap around, pull through. Great thing about crochet over knitting, uh, when you're done, you can just stop at the end of a row. It's, it ties itself off. You don't really have to worry about um, casting off. It's just each row, you can just finish it at the end of it. So we're in our last one. Wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through. And then let's get our little scissors. Then I always finish it by wrapping around one more time, pulling through, but pulling the whole piece through and then just pulling it really tight like that. So this is the most common crochet stitch, the first one everybody should learn. Uh, as long as you remember to chain one and then go into those big holes that I was pointing out, you'll get a nice straight edge. See, nice straight edges. Um, and you have to make sure that you're going in to both loops to keep a nice consistent stitch. So if you found that helpful, let me know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're interested in learning more crochet because twice a week, every week, I'm putting out tutorials and this uh, little single crochet lesson is part of a greater series of lessons on all of the crochet stitches I know and maybe I'll end up learning a couple of new ones just in order to teach you guys. So that's single crochet and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.